The number one reason women struggle to get pregnant is problems with ovulation or not ovulating. If this is you, you are not alone. Up to 30% of women have issues conceiving because of problems with ovulation. Greetings from Team Manito. I'm Dr. Sherazad, and today we'll be discussing ovulation problems and anovulatory cycles. The most powerful asset at your disposal is understanding your body so that you can optimize conception naturally and figure out when to ask for help. First off, what is ovulation? Ovulation is the time during your monthly cycle when an egg is released and is able to be fertilized, which results in pregnancy. But what you may not know is that ovulation does not always happen. Sometimes you have an anovulatory cycle. Anovulation simply means that it's a cycle where your body does not release an egg. Having one or two anovulatory cycles a year is common and perfectly normal. And if you don't release an egg, of course, a sperm and an egg can't meet to create a pregnancy. So knowing whether you're ovulating or not can give you peace of mind and also let you know when it's time to seek advice from a fertility specialist. Let's take a closer look at your menstrual cycle. Your menstrual cycle has two parts. When you're in the pre-ovulatory phase, or the first part of your cycle, the hormone estrogen is dominant. When estrogen begins to rise, luteinizing hormone, or LH for short, is released by your pituitary gland, which triggers ovulation, which is the fancy term for an egg rupturing outside the follicle. The second part of your cycle happens after LH causes one of your follicles to release an egg. The egg travels down the fallopian tube and into the cervical canal while the follicle that the egg just came from forms the corpus luteum that produces progesterone. Progesterone is the dominant hormone now that you're in the second half of your cycle, which we call the post-ovulatory phase. Progesterone is what keeps you from having a period and helps support the lining of your uterus for a potential pregnancy. If you become pregnant, progesterone will stay at a high level in your body and continue to keep you from having your period. But if the egg is not fertilized, your body stops producing progesterone and you get your period. In an anovulatory cycle, an egg hasn't been released, so progesterone doesn't get produced either. You may or may not have a period during an anovulatory cycle, and having a period doesn't necessarily mean that you ovulated that month. That's why relying on your period for information can be misleading, and understanding the role of your hormones is vital to getting pregnant. So if anovulatory cycles and problems with ovulation are the most common cause of infertility, how can you tell if you're ovulating? There are several methods that you can try. Temperature checks, blood tests, ultrasounds, and fertility monitors at home. Now, you may have used over-the-counter ovulation tests in the past, but these measure your LH levels, not progesterone, so you cannot actually confirm ovulation. You can have your progesterone levels tested in a lab, which can confirm ovulation and even diagnose miscarriages. An increase in progesterone levels in the second part of the cycle confirms that ovulation has taken place. Low progesterone levels could mean the cycle was anovulatory or there was insufficient progesterone production during your cycle. The downsides here are time and cost, as you may need to take the test multiple times. Another option is a vaginal or pelvic ultrasound or follicular monitoring. This is the most invasive and expensive option since you'd have to go to your doctor's office every other day to check your follicle growth and maturity. This is a very accurate way to predict ovulation, but can be taxing and expensive on the woman trying to conceive. That's where Anito comes in. Unlike other fertility trackers that measure just one or two hormones and just say yes or no, Anito is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor that helps you track all four key fertility hormones at home in less than 10 minutes. With Inito, you can find accurate values of FSH, estrogen, both alpha LH and beta LH, and progesterone metabolite PDG, which tells you if and when you have ovulated. Inito tells you when to test so you stay updated about your fertile window and maximize your chances of conception by trying to conceive when you hit peak fertility. Check in with your hormone levels anytime and track your cycle trends with detailed charts and numbers. You can share your results with medical experts or nutritionists to track your progress and tick off your health goals. Now, what do you do if you're not ovulating? Well, if you get one anovulatory cycle, don't worry about it. Just try again the next cycle. However, 
If you get two anovulatory cycles in a row and are trying to conceive, it may make sense to consult your doctor about the next steps. So that's it. Now you know all about anovulatory cycles and how to use a fertility monitor like an ETO to stay in touch with your body and confirm ovulation. The power is in your hands, and this is Dr. Sherazad, and I wish you success on your conception journey. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos about fertility.